Hello, welcome to the next episode of Sonic Frontiers Modding Basics. Sorry for taking so long to make this one, and it will probably take that long for the next one too. But anyway, let's get started. We are going to be modding the gameplay physics using 010 editor. First we open up Hedge Mod Manager. I already have a mod created, and if you don't know how to do that, it is explained in the previous episode. I am going to right click on the mod I want to edit, and click open containing folder. This takes me to the mods folder. In another window, open up the Sonic Frontiers folder, go into image, x64 and then raw. You will see a folder called character. Open that, then copy player common.pack. This is the compressed folder where the player's physics are stored. Now go into the raw folder in your mod, create a folder called character and paste the file there. Open up wherever you have hedge art pack, which we installed in the previous episode, then drag player common into hedge art pack. This will extract all of the files from it. Open the new folder and you will see playercommon.rfl. However, we cannot open this since we need a program called 010 editor. Go to the link for it that will be in the comments or description as long as YouTube allows me this time, and click download. Choose your operating system and open it once it downloads. You can now just follow the installation steps that it provides. Once it is installed, right click on playercommon.rfl and click open with, then select 010 editor. Now don't worry. The numbers and letters on the screen look sort of scary, but there's a way to make this easier to read. We need what is called a template which basically reads the file and turns it into lists of values which we can work with. Go to templates at the top, click new template and go to the other link in the description where you will find a huge list of binary templates. The one we want is sonicparameters.bt. Click on it and simply copy it into the new window in 010 editor. Press Ctrl and S to save it somewhere. You can call it whatever you like. All you have to do now is press save and then go to templates again, then run template. Now we have a big list of everything that makes Sonic's gameplay work the way it does. You can change everything from the speed of the spin dash to how long the parry lasts. Today, I am just going to make Sonic jump a lot higher, just as a test. I open Sonic parameters, then forward view, which is how he plays in the open world. There are many options, but we are interested in mode package for now, which is where all of the basics such as running and jumping are. I am opening jump and increasing the force when Sonic first jumps from 12 to 50. That's all we need to do here. Click file in the top left, then save. All that's left is to turn our player common folder back into a pack file. Just drag the folder onto hedge art pack and enter either frontiers or ranges into the prompt. Make sure your mod is enabled and then we can hit save and play. As you can see, when Sonic jumps, he goes quite a bit higher than usual. Now, you can try changing character physics for yourself, to see what you've learned this episode. Try changing Tails physics so that there is no delay before gaining height after starting to fly since this makes platforming slightly quicker and more enjoyable. But that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. I will hopefully make more videos in future, perhaps on model swapping once I actually manage to do it myself. See you soon.